News flash! This just in! Breaking news! The president has made it official! It is official now! He has signed into law the Caffeine Act, making it illegal to consume any caffeinated beverages. Soda, tea, and most importantly, that sweet, sweet liquid we call coffee is now illegal to consume. Leaving the entire country thinking the same thing. Are you shitting me? This comes just days before when the FDA upgraded caffeine to a level two narcotic. In his report, the chairman of the FDA explained that caffeine is the most addictive substance in the world. Caffeine is present in almost 90% of all beverages and is the first drug that humans consume. Kids are usually hooked by the age of three, nearly 10 years younger than when they become addicted to cigarettes and alcohol. Caffeine has a high abuse potential and has a severe dependence liability, like other level two narcotics, such as crystal meth, cocaine, and kangaroo milk. At midnight tonight, it will be illegal to consume any caffeinated beverage. People are taken to the streets just livid about their disgust over their government stupidity. We have footage taken just outside of our studio of the riots that are ensuing. Here, people are jumping on the StarCash delivery truck in protest, but not fully understanding how to actually get inside. These officers are trying to keep the peace by violently shoving protesters away. Some say it's for the public safety. Others believe the coppers just want to take the coffee back to their local precinct. Rioting isn't just limited to the streets. This man smashes a sign in a caffeine-induced spree. As you can see, he has clearly drunken himself to retardation. Here, local tightrope walker Javier Joelendez hoists a stolen star cash keg. The sweet caffeinated nectar falls to the ground and into the mouths of the people below. Before falling to his death, he threw the keg into the crowd, cracking the skull of one lucky citizen. And we are just receiving footage of a supermarket being overrun by frenzied customers just having no regard for each other. It's the running of the Red Bulls down there. Look at this poor man nearly being trampled. Notice how lethargic he looks with no caffeine in his system. And we haven't seen a stampede like this since Hannah Montana went back on tour. People are just losing their hair over this, just flipping their wigs. So what does this mean for America? Well, I'll tell you what this means for America. Con, donuts will no longer be called dunkers. Pro, gaming nerds will actually have to go to bed and potentially take showers. Con, no one will show up to work on time. Con, hangovers will be virtually incurable. Pro, baristas will no longer be douchebags. It's a sad day for America. First they took the coke out of Coca-Cola, now they're taking the caffeine out of it. At what point will it just become sparkling mineral water? I'm Lester Crankbush for WNWS News.